Hi friends. So today we shall discuss about a very important concept called as Lamy's theorem. So Lamy's theorem talks about three coplanar concurrent forces. So let me explain you what is Lamy's theorem. So suppose we have a body. So this is a body, let's say. So here we got a body, and this body is in equilibrium due to application of three forces. So we have three forces acting on this body. So let's say one force is this, another force is this, and the third force is this one. So we have got three forces, and these three forces are acting on this body and keeping this body in the equilibrium. So let me call these forces as F1, this force is F2, and this force is F3. So the angle opposite to the F1, this angle, let me call this angle as angle alpha angle opposite to f2 that is this one this angle let me call this angle as angle beta and angle opposite to f3 that is this angle let me call this angle as gamma so this is the body we can say so these forces f1 f2 and f3 are keeping this body in the equilibrium condition okay so now for this condition we have got a lamis theorem so mind it lamis theorem is only applicable for Three concurrent coplanar forces. Like we have F1, F2, F3. These three forces are coplanar concurrent forces passing through a common point. So let me say common point is point O. So these three forces are keeping this body in the equilibrium condition. So for that we can use a Lamy's theorem. So according to Lamy's theorem, each force is proportional to the sine of angle between other two forces. What Lamy's theorem tells us? It tells us if three coplanar concurrent forces keep body in the equilibrium condition then each force is proportional to the sign of angle between other two forces so let me write down the statement if three coplanar concurrent forces keep body in the equilibrium condition then each force will, will be proportional to the sign of angle between other two forces so according to this statement we can say that we can say that force f1 will be proportional to the sign of angle between f3 and f2 so the angle between F3 and F2 is alpha. So we can say that F1 is proportional to sine of angle between F3 and F2 that is alpha, sine alpha. So from here we will get F1 equal to some constant k times sine alpha. So this will give you F1 by sine alpha equal to constant k. So this is your equation 1 we can say. Similarly, we can also write down the force F2 will be proportional to the sine of angle between F1 and F3. F2 will be proportional to sine of angle between force F1 and F3 that is going to be beta. So we will get from here F2 equal to some constant k times sine beta. And if you simplify this, we will get F2 divided by sin beta will be equal to k. This is going to be equation number 2. And the third one, similarly we can write down F3, force F3 will be proportional to the sign of angle between F1 and F2 that is gamma. So we can write down here F3 is proportional to sin gamma and that can be written as F3 equals constant times sine gamma and that we can simplify as F3 divided by sine gamma equals k. That is constant. So this is our equation number 3. So if you combine all these three equations, you can see here we have right hand side all equal to k. So we have got right hand side equal to k that is constant. So all left hand sides are going to be equal. So finally, we can write down F1 divided by sin alpha equals F2 divided by sin beta equals F3 divided by sin gamma. So this is the main outcome of Lamy's theorem. While applying the Lamy's theorem, we should first understand that it is only applicable for three coplanar concurrent forces keeping body in the equilibrium condition. So we can only apply Lamy's theorem for three coplanar concurrent forces. And second point is that 
we should remember that all the forces should be having same sense. It means either they are tensile or they are compressive. So, we can apply Lamy's theorem in two cases. The first case is when all the forces are like this, all the forces are acting in a tensile manner, okay, or all the forces are acting like a compressive manner. So, we can apply the Lamy's theorem for this situation when all the forces are acting in the compressive sense, like this. So, we can say this is F1, this is F2, and this is F3. So, all these three forces are acting towards this common point, let us say O, or the, this condition where all the forces, that is F1, F2 and F3 are acting in a tensile manner that is they are acting away from common point O. So, we can either follow this situation or we can follow this situation. So, Lamy's theorem is applicable for all tensile forces or all compressive forces as shown in these two figures. Okay. So, this is the final expression we got for the Lamy's theorem and Lamy's theorem is applicable for three coplanar concurrent forces. So, we will take one example to understand Lamy's theorem properly. So, friends, let us see one example based on Lamy's theorem. We have to find the value of forces F1 and F2 supporting mass of weight 100 Newtons as shown in the figure. So, we have got a mass of 100 Newton here and it is being supported by two forces. One is F1 acting at 45 degree with the horizontal and the second force is F2 which is acting at 30 degrees with the horizontal. So, we have to find the value of F1 and F2. So, if you solve this particular problem, with the help of the condition of static equilibrium, it will be having a lengthy process because it involves two variables. So, we have to find two equations and we have to solve those two equations to get the value of F1 and F2. By using Lamy's theorem, we can easily solve this particular problem. So, let me solve this particular problem by using Lamy's theorem. So, first of all, we will draw the free body diagram of this particular situation. So, we have got force F1 here. This is force F2. And the weight which is 100 Newton, it is acting downward. So, the weight is acting downward that is 100 Newton. So, this is the weight, let me call it as W. Now, this line indicates the horizontal and this angle is 45 degrees. So, this angle is also given as 30 degree. Okay. Now, so in this particular situation, if you want to solve this particular problem by using Lamy's theorem, we need to find out the angle between the pair of forces. It means we need to find angle between F1 and W, F2 and W and also F1 and F2. If you see geometry, this is going to be, this is the horizontal line and this is the vertical line friends. So, this is 45 degree. So, the whole angle, this whole angle is going to be, so if I draw this whole angle friends, this is going to be 45 plus 90 degrees. So, it is going to be 135 degrees. Similarly, if you want to find this whole angle, you can see here, so, 30 plus 90, it is going to be 120 degrees and this one is going to be, if you look at here, this is 45 degree and this is 30 degree. So, 45 plus 30 is going to be 75 degrees. So, out of 180, we will subtract 75 degrees. So, this angle is going to be 105 degrees. So, it means the angle opposite to force F1 is going to be alpha. So, we call it as alpha. The angle opposite to F2 is called as beta. So, we call it as beta. While the angle opposite to the third one, that is W is going to be called as gamma. So, we got all three angles here. Okay. So, according and let us and let us call this particular point as point O. So, due to application of these three forces, this point O is in equilibrium condition and all these three forces are in the same sense. It means they are in tensile condition. Okay. So, I can apply now Lamy's theorem and we can find out the unknown value. So, let us do it. So, by Lamy's theorem, we know that so F1 divided by the sine of angle between other two forces that is F2 and W that is going to be sine of 120. Similarly, force F2 divided by the angle between F1 and W that is sine of 135 and the last one that is W divided by sine of the angle opposite to W that is this angle is 105 degrees. So, by Lamy's theorem, we got this particular equation. So, if you see this particular equation, we can easily find out the unknown value of F1 and F2. Let me show you how. So, from here, I can take this equation and the last equation. So, I can take this particular term and the last term together. So, we will get F1 equals, now the value of W is 100 Newtons. So, I can write down 100 divided by sine 105. 
the sign 120 will come in the numerator here so sign 120 degrees similarly we can also get if you take this term and this term together so we will get f2 equals again 100 by sin 105 and then multiplied by this sin 135 will come in the numerator so let's solve it out and see the value of f1 and f2 so if you solve this particular equation the well you will get the value of f1 as 89.66 newtons and similarly if you solve this particular equation you will get the value of f2 as 73.21 newton so this is how we can simply apply the lamis theorem to solve the problems involving three coplanar concurrent forces keeping body in the equilibrium condition